In today's video, I will show you guys how to design this unique church flyer in Corel Draw. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. So the source file for this design, I'm going to put the link for all this in the down description below. So you can check it out and make use of it. So without any further ado, let's jump straight to the video. Welcome to Corel Draw, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is change our size. And the size we're making use of is um, 1080 by 1050 pixels. All right. So I'm going to come over to my drawing unit and change this to pixels. And I'm coming over to my face dimension change 10 by 80 by um 10 50 and press enter on your keyboard this is what you're going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in my rectangle tool and draw just this way and uh, make sure the size is same as we did earlier so we're going to press little p on your keyboard to make it fit into frame all right um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of this and remove the black stroke which we had earlier, right? So the next thing we're going to do is import our source files for this design. So to do that, come over to your file and select import shortcut is control plus I on your keyboard. All right, so I'm going to select everything you've seen here. All right, select the ones you are going to make use of. So over here is the text and the names of the fonts. We'll be making use of so i'm going to click on import and i'm um, basically place all of this right here all right just place them randomly the way it suits what you're going to do all right so now the next thing i'm going to do is i want to bring in this first of all so as you can see this is its own paper in photoshop you're gonna you can make use of um brushes to make to do this so color brother have brushes so we're going to make use of this actually so to make use of it, I'm going to extract this from this background. Now to do that, we're going to go to um, bitmap, convert it to bitmap first of all. So make sure your resolution is at 300 and your column mode RGB and press, uh, um, let me scale it up so we can, so we're not going to um, run out of resolution. So I'm going to bitmap it as I said earlier. So come back to your bitmap, select mode. Uh, go to black and white and you can click on OK, leave it at 204 pixels, all right? That's your trash wood and make sure your conversation method is on outline art and then you can click on OK. So call to your trace bitmap, outline trace, light art and uh, wait for that to load. And this is what you're going to have guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on OK and I'm going to remove this. And um, I'll group this, make sure you select everything in case there's any particles that will be left out. So click on well to weld everything together. So this is what you get. Next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to bring this here. Let's give it a black color so we're going to see. Now I'm going to flip this over here. Let's rotate this 90 degree. And this is what we are going to have. So I want this part to be down and this part up. Or uh, basically, we can leave that just the way it is. So I'm going to make sure this and this is um, aligned. So I'm going to press Hold Shift, highlight everything, press letter T to take it to the top. Now this is basically what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to select my freehand tool and uh, basically draw something like this. Draw something like this, right? So once you do that. Select everything, click on weld and leave that to that. Now you can reduce this, bring it just right here and leave that to that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this background. All right. So while I bring it the background, I'm going to uh, right click on it and select power clip and place it into the spring. All right. So I'm going to right click and select edit power clip and um, scale the background up. And leave that to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this background, paste it again, so we have both of this. I'm going to right click and select power clip, place it into the background again, and um, into the frame. Sorry, so right click and select with power clip, so we have this as you can see. Now I'm going to right click and select our frame type and remove the frame. What I remove the frame? What I mean is uh, removing the background which is inside our frame. That is what I mean by that. So I'm going to bring this one just right here. All right. I'm going to bring this one just right here. And I'm going to duplicate this. 
I want to give this one this um, 20% gray. Right? Let's give it 20% gray and leave that. That. And that is basically what you are going to have. Alright? So this is what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a shadow in here. So to create that shadow, I'm going to do something like this. Alright? Let me give this one in line, outline so we can see. As you can see, I'm, I want to break this apart just this way. All right, so once you scale that up, let's basically um, select both of this, one and two, as you can see. Then go to trim and um, you have this, all right. Now come over to your effects, select blot, turn Gaussian blot and um, basically blot it this way and leave that. that. Now you can bring it over here, all right? Bring it just right here and um, can basically take it behind view, just right here, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring this one up and um, bring the shadow. Sorry, bring in the shadow just right here and make sure this one is aligned. As you can see the shadow there, now I'm going to uh, create another one, take this one this way, and um, trim it, alright? So you can delete this one, and go to Effects, select Blow, select Gaussian Blow, and you can reduce that to 7.3, or you can use 8.3, then bring it over here, bring it in there, alright? So, if you are not printing this flyer, make use of RGB as the color code, alright? If you are printing the flyer, make use of CMYK as you can see here, but your black should be on RGB, that is perfect black, alright? Black we make use of, perfect black on RGB. Alright, so now this is basically what you're gonna have, as you can see, the shadow over there. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in this, and uh, I'm gonna scale it up this way. I wanna rotate it this way. All right. So once I rotate that this way, I'm gonna just scale it up right here. And once I do that, I wanna right click and select. Okay, just cut it and paste it just right here. I'm gonna use my shape tool first of all. Let me let me bring this one down just right there. Scale it up, all right. So copy it. Make sure your settings are correct, just the way it is. Copy and don't shift it once you copy. Go out of the frame, paste it. Now select your shape tool. Take this one inside the frame, as you can see. Understand what I did? I took the knot into the frame. And I brought this one here and brought this one here. So if you remove this one, you can see it's just a cutout, as you can see. So don't be confused. Now I'm going to change this to black and white, grayscale, and leave that to that. Now the next thing we're going to do now is we want to bring in our images. So the first one I'm going to bring is this, this one. So what I'm going to do now is let me just cut this and um, put it into this frame. All right. So once I do that, let me just scale this one up a bit and uh, I'm going to bring it over here and leave that to that for now. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this. I'm going to take it to, I'm going to uh, mirror it to the left. Then I'm going to scale it up just right here. And once I do that, I'm going to make sure this one is up. That's page up to bring it forward. And I'm gonna bring this one over here. And uh, let me use my shape suit and uh, reduce this. Reduce this. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna scale this up this way. And uh, I'm gonna scale this one up a bit. All right. So as I do that, I'm gonna leave that just right there and bring in this one over here. Now bring in this one, scale it up this way. All right, take it behind. And um, 
Bring in this. Scale it up and um, can leave that to that, but make sure it is aligned with the last one. All right, so this is basically what you are going to have. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight everything, reduce it this way. Once I do that, I'm gonna duplicate this one, cut it and create a page two, paste it here in case I need it. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select my shape two and uh, take this one in. And what I'm gonna do is to fade out this edge using our transparency to this way. Fade out this way, select this one, fade it out. Fade it out so you're not gonna, it's, it will blend to the background, all right? Fade out till it blends to the background. This way. All right, so. Once you do that, you fade out this one also. Then you can leave that to that, but I think this one is big and, um, all right. I think we're good, so I'm gonna just scale this one down a bit and um, make sure it is perfectly aligned, all right? So I'm gonna select everything here and convert it to bitmap. Once I do that, I'll go to my effects, select, adjust color balance. But before we apply our color balance, go to effects, select adjust brightness and contrast and lift your contrast to 21% and come to effects, let adjust, select color balance and um, let's uh, leave that to 10, minus 19 and 19 and click. Okay, and um, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my rectangle tool, place it just right here, give it a white color, remove the black stroke, select the transparency tool, feather this edge, all right, and um, once you fade it out, this is what you're gonna have. So click on this, I click and I'll keep everything in here. And this is what you're gonna have, guys, right? So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my text. These are the names of the fonts we're making use of. All right. Copy this and paste it just right here. All right. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just scale this down. And um, the next thing I'm gonna do is bring in my rectangle tool. Draw this way. All right, so once I do that, let me give it a black stroke so we can see. Now right click and select convert to curve and you can delete this knot. Once you do that, make sure this is basically um, scaled up this way. Now this is what you're gonna have. So now um, you can right click and power dip it inside and uh, go into the frame, take it behind seal and uh, Draw this way and uh, basically rotate this this way and place it just right here because we're going to make use of it and demarcate this by going to trim. And once we demarcate, now you can see this. This is what you're going to have. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this background. All right, cut it, control X. Then I'm going to partake it into this frame just right here. All right, so once we do that, once we do that, I'm gonna change it to grayscale. And now um, this is basically what you're gonna have. So remove the black stroke. Now ungroup it, break it apart this way. Um, break apart, control plus K, all right. So I'm gonna cut this background, come back to this. All right, so once you do that, Bring in the background here and um, scale it up and change that to screen using your transparency tool this way and um, copy the uh, you can copy this background again go into the frame paste it you can scale this one up all right so this is basically what you are going to have so the next thing we're going to do is i want to bring in this Paste it here, give it a black color. Now I'm gonna break this apart, break this apart. I use Control plus K to break it apart. So this one should be tame, not day. So I'm gonna correct this over here. All right, so that is it. Now the fact that I'm making use of this is the style down. Style down something, something, all right. So this is the name of the fonts. 
All right, so I want to just place this one here. Now, the name of the font I'm making use of this is called Formula. All right, so let me choose. Yes, so the next of the fonts will be on the top description below for you guys to check it out. All right, so for this one, I'm going to make use of this as uppercase. This one changed to uppercase. All right, so I'm going to scale this one up just right there. So I'm going to reduce this one. All right, so I'm going to reduce this. Once I reduce it, this one will be here. And uh, once I do that, I'm going to bring in my... I'm going to bring in this and draw this weed. Once I do that, I'm going to give it a black color. Now, convert it to curve. Bring this one here. Delete this. Delete this one. You can basically do this one this way. So I'm going to create a trap pet with this. But let me take this one over here. So this would be like a trumpet. So I'm going to just bring it this and um, do this this way my over shape sorry my ellipse tool now i'm going to select my rectangle tool convert it to curve use my shape tool bring this one here delete this knot then right click and convert to curve right click convert to curve this way and what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this select this Trim it and I'm going to bring this one forward. So, as you can see, we have we have a trumpet shape here. So, I'm going to just scale this up this way. So, this is basically a trumpet. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just highlight this. All right. So, I'm going to take it up and just use this knot over here and uh, drag this up this way. And basically, use that to that. And this is basically what you're going to have. All right, so I'm going to write here and import this background. All right, so I'm going to just do this and I'm going to rotate this this way and I right click for keep it into this frame. Then I'm going to just scale this up this way and leave that to that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag this one up. And once I do that, I've duplicated this. So what I'm going to do is just right click and select um, frame type, remove the frame type, then give it this 20% um, Great. All right. So I'm going to copy. Use my um my airdrop to copy a color just here, and I'm going to give this this color. All right. And that is what we are going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh I'm going to basically give that to that for now. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this names, the artist names. All right. Give it this color. All right. So, but I'm going to just give it this color. And let's give it this color. And I'm going to use a Capstone book. All right. Then I'm going to centralize it. Then I'm going to just flip this this way. All right. So as I do that, I'm going to just basically leave this one over here. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring in this. All right. The mini stars. All right, I'm going to paste this job right here. Once I do that, I'm going to give you the black color. Now I'm going to just cut this. So once you cut it, the name of the font is, uh, I'm going to use this font as, I'm going to use this font for this and um, same thing over here. And once I do that, I'm going to make use this one as a um, left alignment. Place it just right here. Then put this over here and use my shape to drag it just right here. And this is what you are going to have. So the next thing we're going to do is, uh, these are the names of the ministers. All right, so this is what we're going to have. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to bring in my rectangle to draw this way. All right, so I want to bring in this background. All right, so I'm going to right click and pop it into this frame. And once I do that, we will scale it up this way and um, add another one here. All right, so. All right, so this is basically 
what we're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this. All right. And uh, we're going to bring this one here and give it a black color. So once I do that, I'm going to basically break this apart. Break this apart. Then I'm going to use formula for this font. Then I'm going to bring this one part and um, change to uppercase. Once I do that, I'm going to reduce this and um, give this one caption book. All right. So I'm going to change this to uppercase. Remove the boldness and uh, change to uppercase. Change to caption book. Remove the bold. And this is basically what you're going to have. So I'm going to use basically place this one here and uh, place this one here and leave that to that. So I'm going to bring my um, free hand to to market this this way. Give it a black stroke. And the font I'm making use of in this one is called this. I don't know what to call it anyway. I don't know the name, but um. I will put the names for you guys. All right. I will put the names for you guys to check it out. All right. So this is the name of the fonts. You can download this font guys online. I've taught you guys how to download fonts. So you can download it online and make use of it. I'm going to basically place this one here and link that to that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this. All right. And um, basically draw this way. All right. Demarcate this one this way and give it this color. So I'm going to increase the red. Remove the black stroke of both. All right. So I'm going to just copy this and change this to this is 330. I'm not gonna write it the way it's 330 that's for red carpet. I'm gonna I'm not gonna write it the normal way we used to do like three uh like this way. You understand? No, I, I just wanna write it this way, but this is the time. You know, it helps to explain everything actually to anybody, but once you see this, you should know this is red carpets. Red carpets. Red carpets. Alright, so we're gonna leave this one here. And this is basically what you are going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is, um, basically, we're almost done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this. And um, don't worry, I'm going to put the names. I'm going to put everything for you guys to make use of, all right? I'm going to just come over to this and select, bring in this light fleet to get some highlights. And that's the side, all right? So basically, Select your transparency to change it to screen. All right, so we're going to bring one over here. I should do that. Bring one over here. Cut it. Go into the frame, paste it there, and copy another one. Paste it just right here. All right, so I'm going to bring another one here. Put it just over here and um, Bring another one here. We're going to just cut it and put it into the frame. All right. I'm going to bring another one just right here. And I'm going to leave that to that, guys. So basically, this is how we designed this unique um, church flyer in Corridor. If you have a question, please don't forget to drop me a comment in the comment section below. And give this video a thumbs up. See you guys in my next video.